Number four, well, first we have to decide if it's arithmetic or geometric. In this case, to go from 1,024 to 128, maybe that's not quite as obvious as going from 16 to 2, but 16 to 2, you divide by 8. And the same thing from 128 to 16, you divide by 8, divide by 8, that's our pattern. Now, division is just glorified multiplication. That's the same as timesing by 1 eighth, times by 1 eighth, times by 1 eighth. So since we're multiplying or dividing by the same amount every time, it's a geometric sequence. And a geometric sequence follows the pattern y equals a times b to the x. a is our y-intercept. b is our multiplier. So if we want to come up with the equation, the first thing you need to find is the y-intercept. Now, 1,024, that's your first term. Here's your second term, third term, fourth term. But the y-intercept is the zeroth term. Okay, when x is zero, what do you get? Well, if you work backwards, the zeroth term times 8 times 8 times 8, 1,024 times 8 is 8,192. So that would be our y-intercept. y equals 8,192 times our multiplier, which we figured out was 1 eighth, to the x power. It's important that you put the parentheses around 1 eighth. If you don't, the only thing that really gets the exponent is the 1. But we have to take and multiply by this factor of 1 eighth every time. So we have to make sure we include the 8, so we put parentheses around the fraction. The last thing I asked you to do was to find the seventh term in the sequence, 8192 times 1 eighth to the seventh power. If we do that, 8192 times 1 eighth to the seventh power, it gave it to me as a fraction, we get 1 over 256. Now, I can quick convert that to a decimal. Looks like it's about point if we go to the nearest thousandth, it would be about 0 .004.